Hi, Alex. This is your friendly neighborhood ESL and accent reduction tutor, David Berlin. Today I want to teach you, I want to go over what we went over in class about intonation. Okay, now remember that intonation is the rising and the falling in pitch of the American voice. Okay, so it's pretty simple, right? Remember that you do a little upswing in pitch and you emphasize the word that is, there's a couple of ways you can think about it. You emphasize and do a little upswing in pitch on roughly every other word. Or you can think of it as emphasizing and doing a little upswing in pitch uh, of the nouns and the verbs, which we also call content words, or the words that carry the content of the sentence. They're the, they're the words you would send in a text message, the words that make up the meaning of the sentence, as opposed to function words, which are like auxiliary verbs like I or am or for, or prepositions, things like that, right? So, uh, and, and it amounts to the same thing. Remember that. Whether you think of stressing and doing a little upswing in pitch on every other word, or you think of it as doing an upswing in pitch on roughly, uh, on, uh, on the nouns and the verbs, because of English structure and syntax, it, it, it amounts to roughly the same thing. Okay, so let me give you an example. John is coming over tonight. We are going to work on our homework together. Now, notice at the end of the sentence, at the period where it's a declarative statement, what we call a declarative statement is like a, it's a statement as opposed to a question or an exclamation. An exclamation is when you say something in an excited tone, like, oh, my God right? That, that's a different intonation. But right now we're doing a simple basic intonation for declarative statements, simple statements of fact, right? John is coming over tonight. And at the end, you go down, you kind of walk it down, right? I feel really good about it because I'm meeting with an English teacher, right? You walk, walk it down the steps kind of at the end of a declarative statement. You take your tonality, you take your pitch, and you kind of walk it down the steps. I'm meeting with an English teacher tonight. I did a 700-pound squat, and it was the best I've ever done. Like that, you see? Uh, what else have we got? Uh, I go to the Polytechnic University in Mexico, and I sell chips. Right, you walk it down at the end. You go Polytechnic University in Mexico, and I sell chips. You see what I mean? So you go up, 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 and then walk it down the steps, and you go up, up, up at approximately every other word, or you can think of it as nouns and verbs, and it amounts to about the same thing. Okay, so let me give you a couple of examples for you to work with. Okay. Okay. Ready? Dogs eat bones. Repeat on. Dogs eat bones. I play guitar in a rock and roll band. I like to lift weights at the gym. I did a 700 pound squat today, my best weight ever. My best mile time is a 456. I went shopping for groceries today. My receipt is in the bag.
I'll be meeting with my English teacher later this month. He'll help me with my intonation. Okay, Alex, so I hope that helps you with some basic practice. I hope that helps you, you know, kind of remember and jog your memory a little bit uh, in terms of what we went over. And, uh, you know, once again, this is your friendly neighborhood ESL and accent reduction tutor, David Berlin. And uh, you can reach me, obviously, at david.berlin.esl on Skype. Or you can call me at 732-807-5424. Or you can email me at david.berlin.edgarsamlion at gmail.com. Okay, david.berlin.esl.com. Oh, excuse me, david.berlin.esl at gmail.com. Don't forget the at gmail. Okay, all right. All right, take care, Alex. See you later. Bye-bye.